people buy seed that is feminized and it comes in and 20% are presenting as male. So you have to make sure that you're working with a reputable seed company that is as feminized as it can get, which is 99.99%. And that's what we have at Atlas. So that's one in 1500 or one in 2000. We have on our website and in our forthcoming book, a lot on how to identify those males, which imagine in a field, in a two, three acre field, you have over 50,000 plants, autoflowers, and you're walking, trying to find those males. I can tell you from experience, you can have two teams of two guys or two people walking and one team will walk right past three males and the, the team behind them will see it. It is a specific skill to find those. You have to do it repeatedly once a day during a particular section of the crop production to find them all and remove them. The other kind of hermaphrodism is male parts presenting on a female plant. And that is always in my experience, due to stress on the plant. And that could be some sort of wonky light cycle change. That could be a frost event. It could be extreme heat without sufficient irrigation. There's a couple of different factors that, that cause that, but you have to be able to find those too. We actually have on our website, a guide telling you how to look and make sure uh, even for those small, we call them armpit nuts. So they're just, they're in the little armpits, the nodes where a branch separates from the main stem or even a leaf begins, you can sometimes get these tiny little single male flowers presenting there when the plants have been stressed. I mean, we even had one time where the field is pretty much flat, right? I mean, you can't see it with the naked eye. Yeah, there's a little divot over there, a little divot over here. And we planted early and we even covered them with row cover, floating row cover to protect them from frost. Well, we had one night that it dipped below freezing. And later in the crop cycle, just those places in the field that were inches lower than the other places, but enough cold air will settle there. And it just so happens that also water will settle there from rain or irrigation. Those are going to be more wet because they're a little bit lower. Those two factors combined, the single night of freezing temperatures combined with a little bit wetter feet produced hermaphrodism in just this tiny subsection of the field. We're looking at stuff like that, though, and eliminating those seeds from our lines entirely because some seed lines, even under the same conditions, won't herm. And breeding against that, which is a tolerance for stress, is a huge thing for field breeding and field scale cannabis.